Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a beautiful Zara and Stradivarius haul. Really excited for these pieces. So if you want to see what I picked up, then just keep on watching. Okay, so if you watched my last Zara haul on this channel, I did pick up a bomber jacket. And I did mention that there was a few others that I wanted to try off the website. So I actually managed to pick up this beautiful collared black one now i will only be keeping one of them and i have tried this one on this one is definitely the keeper i absolutely love it please excuse any cat hairs or anything that you might see on this by the way um i am covered in cat hairs the quality of this jacket is really really thick and heavy like that's one of the reasons why i'm keeping this it's just amazing it's got like structured shoulder padding to it which i really like because it just gives it a more formal feel um and it's really fun to kind of play around with more formal styles and more casual styles and pair them together so yeah this one i absolutely love and i have dressed this down casually already now i picked this one up in a size medium and it's the perfect sizing for me it's like a gorgeous boxy fit and so easy to dress up and down i honestly feel like this piece could be a capsule piece because i can see myself wearing this for like years to come so i'll just hold it back a bit so you can see it so it's got a zip on the front of it and then it's kind of like a cropped fit like boxy you'll see on the try and clip and then it's got like a beautiful collar to it which makes it feel more formal and this was 79.99 so it is a bit more on the expensive side for a bomber jacket however as i said it's very more like on the formal side so completely different to anything that i already own and it is really good quality as well okay next up this is a really fun piece i've not actually seen anyone talk about this yet because i think it's very fresh to the website it is another bomber jacket it's this gorgeous knitted like really lightweight bomber jacket i'm not sure what material it is but yeah it's super lightweight so it's perfect for like spring summertime because it's not gonna keep you hot but at the same time it still shields your skin and can add a bit of a layer this is what it looks like it's got a higher collar i have tried this one on as well and i honestly love the fit of it it gives like that oversized normal bomber silhouette but without it being the like waterproof kind of materials that they tend to come in. So it's got this beautiful knit pattern going down it as well. So again, I feel like it gives it a more feminine touch, like a bit less casual, but obviously you still wear it in a casual way. So this one I got in a size extra small to small because I did have a feeling that they would be quite big and they are big. So this is the perfect size for me. I think if I'd have gone for the medium to large, it would have been too big i absolutely love it i can really see a lot of people picking this up okay, then next up from zara i got this gorgeous beige and black striped top i have already styled this on my instagram page um i'll link it down below for anyone who wants to see how i style up the clothing items but yeah so it's just a slightly again cropped and boxy top and then it's ribbed down it as well I just love um, stripe detailing in general because it's obviously such a classic print, like you can wear it year on year, which is exactly why I picked this up because I wanna pick up pieces that I can envisage myself wearing year on year. So it's gonna get my money's worth. This one I picked up in a size medium and this was 17 99 Then moving on, I just got myself a plain black cap from Zara. Not sure whether I'll keep this or not because I do need to try this on. Um, I just find I don't really tend to suit caps in my opinion, but I'm trying to. So I just keep buying like a different variety of caps, hoping that I'll eventually find one that I do like. I think because I have a bit of a bigger head maybe, so I just don't really think like a lot of them suit me. So yeah, picked up this, hopefully I like it on. Um, I think they're all just size mediums. I don't think they do even sizes and this was 12 99 Okay, and now for some pieces from Stradivarius. Okay, so first off, I think like this whole cropped trench thing is like really becoming a thing at the minute because obviously I've got that one from Zara. I'm still currently have it at the minute. Not sure on whether I'm actually gonna keep it or not because I found this one on Stradivarius. Bit different uh, style. I think it's a slightly different color. Um, maybe a bit more like of a cool toned beige whereas the other one I think is a bit warmer from Zara this one was a lot uh, cheaper though than the Zara one I haven't tried this one on for fit so we'll see how it is 
but yeah loved it i picked this one up in a size small and it's just got the usual features of a trench really like i love the like flat detailing that it has here as they often do it's got the tartar shell buttons which i really like and then on the back it's got the same like flaps again on the back and um, yeah it looks like it's going to be a boxy fit i'm hoping that the size small is a reasonable size so it doesn't drown me and um, because i feel like sometimes trench coats tend to be really big i just have to link all of them down below in the description box along with the prices because these don't have the prices on them okay next up i saw these gorgeous tailored trousers which for starters these feel such a soft material like honestly I really hope that these fit right because they just feel so comfy. The only reason why they might not is the length. Um, not tried them on yet, so I'm hoping that they are long enough, but I do like my trousers to go down to the floor and I am almost five foot eight, so I am on the taller side. So I really hope that these are the right length. They've got like the slight pleat detailing down there, so I just think it makes it look really smart. Obviously, I love the kind of like khaki tone colour that it is. And I think at the minute I'm just loving like smarter trousers paired with trainers. I think it's a really chic look for spring and just all seasons really. Um, so I'm just trying to find the right trousers in my wardrobe. Again, because I feel like these are very capsule pieces. Um, I picked this one up in a size 12. I am usually in between size 10 and 12, but I've said on this channel before that I do tend to go up a size in bottoms just because I need the length and if it sits a bit lower on my hips then that's handy for me. Okay, and then next, I literally got the exact same pair of trousers just in black because obviously black just goes with everything. I do just like the button detailing as well and yeah, just the fact that it's elasticated on the waistband is always really handy and black trousers that are like wide leg or straight leg pair really nicely with white trainers or just most trainers in general to be fair um even like black converse i love that look then next i literally just picked up a like little black tee mainly because i wanted to give them a go for quality but also because i always just run out of the basics and they just literally pair with absolutely everything as you'll probably have seen on some of my shorts or reels. I do tend to just pair a lot of outfits with like a standard black or white top underneath. It just really, it's effortless, that's all I can say. So yeah, pretty basic item. I got this in a size medium and I'm not sure how much it was, but as I said, I will link it down below. It does feel really soft and stretchy though, so that's always handy. Okay, then next, I'm really, really excited to try this on and I just really hope that it suits me. I'm not really a skirt gal, so yeah. It's a big, long line maxi denim skirt. Obviously, I know there's such a trend at the minute and I wanted to hop on the trend because I do really like how it looks on other people. Um, as I said, I don't really tend to wear skirts myself, so I really hope that it looks how I want it to look on me. I think because my body type, I tend to have wider hips. So if anything, I just don't want it to cling to my hips too much. So yeah, we'll see how it fits on, but I do really like the look of it paired with some Adidas Sambas or even like to dress it up a bit more in calf boots, like heeled boots. I think that just looks really chic. Again, um, it does have a little slit on the front. So if you do wear calf boots with it, it will be peeping through, which I think looks really cute and um, I do like the mid wash of blue as well that it's in and yeah I can think of a million ways to style these if it fits so fingers crossed I'm pretty sure I got these in yeah a size 12 again and um, just for more room and comfort okay and lastly I did get another denim skirt this one is a bit different though like the shape of it it's a little bit more flowy along the bottom and this one also has the slit in the back rather than in the front obviously the de wash of denim again is a bit different it almost looks a bit similar to this denim shirt actually this one i did however get it in a size 10 i obviously just wanted to give the different sizes a go so i hope that this fits um the denim does feel like really soft denim like almost yeah, it, has, it definitely has a bit of give to it. So I feel like hopefully it should fit. Okay, and that's everything that I picked up from Zara and Shadavaria. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give this video a like and subscribe down below if you do enjoy watching these kind of videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.